Hi, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover the chart of accounts. How do you set up? What are the accounts that we have? Assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. And I will go through in in detail. And I will show you how to add a new income or expenses or assets and uh, the account codes. So, a quick recap of what we did in the previous video in part one that we did the initial setup uh, we did the bank feeds and we connected the online payments while that verification in progress um, I recommend you come here and set up the chart of accounts and then you are all good to go um, again I think we covered all these areas so once you fix everything you can go on to accounting here and categories chart of accounts so basically so these are all the chart of accounts we have so these are all default um, anyone who signs up in any account all these default uh, categories will come um, in other words in my perspective I, I call these as my filing cabinets so now let's say that you have uh, 10 invoices and 10 uh, receipts or any, any sort so now that you have that and then you need to put it in filing cabinets like for example you have five invoices from sales so you need to put it under sales files and then you have expenses such as accounting bill advertising um, bank charges for example and a few other expenses so so you categorize each uh, receipts and you put it into each different different filing cabinets so that's what um, these accounts are basically and I'm gonna show you all the, the details so these are all the codes um, basically there's about I think about nine codes I assume yeah there's nine so always assets is one liabilities is two equity is three and income is uh, yeah income is four and cost of sales is five that whatever that is associated directly to the income and then we will get the gross profit so if we have the income minus the cost of sales that will give you the gross profit and then we have all the overheads the expenses is six and we've got other income and other expenses so so these are the account codes and these are the account names so each under bank accounts we've got two banks here sorry four banks so business bank account number one petty cash undeposited funds account and electronic clearing likewise we've got two accounts receivable so you can use one of this or depends on what sort of business that you are running and again, we've got inventories assets as property plant and equipment motor vehicle and we also we have accumulated depreciation so most of the accounts are already default so you don't need to add anything new because it's everything what is required and what you need is already here so when you allocate all the bank transactions from bank feed you'll get all the expenses so when you do the allocations you can allocate to each of these accounts all these accounts are already on default yeah so pretty much all the expenses are listed if you want to add a new one you can click on create category and add a new one so before I go ahead and show you how to add a new one I'll show you uh, all the accounts so on the assets they got the type the tax code so this is basically the GST and all of that stuff so these are all NT this is non taxable Def all I mean assets are non taxable but some of them are depends like plant and equipment or motor vehicles when you buy sometimes there will be GST so when you do the allocation part you can still choose if it's GST or not so don't worry about what we have here and you go on to liabilities it's pretty much the same we've got all the business loans if you want to add a new loan or any other loans you can still go ahead and add and then equity uh, the owners funds introduced and the drawings retain earnings current years earning historical balance so these three don't worry these two if uh, if you are withdrawing anything from the company allocate to this account if you're putting some money in allocate to this account or else we can create another column so as a non-current or a current liability you can say shareholders loan and then you can allocate all the withdrawals and deposits of the owner the owners withdrawals and deposits you can allocate to that shareholder loan account because generally you run a business 
um, the owner might take a lot of funds out he might use the business card to make personal expenses and all of those stuff you can allocate to those accounts and that will be so easy at the end when you give the access to accountants so they'll have an easy life right and we've got income so we've got three income here if you want you can add new income and again cost of sales um, likewise we've got all the expenses so and other income and other expenses okay so just go randomly browse around see what is there what is not and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add another bank account and I'll show you how how it is done so the code is one triple one zero one triple one zero so you click on this create category and then details one classification type so that's a bank and the heading is uh, comes under bank accounts so one one category is aut automatically loaded if you want you can allocate to an, an, another one so it's up to you so I'm gonna say a and Z V2 uh, or, or something like whichever names that you have in your bank or maybe Westpac main business transaction or savings account or things like that so here is where you choose the tax code as I uh, as I was explaining earlier so banks are generally non reportable so you can click on the non reportable if it's GST you would say GST 10% so non reportable and then you save it that's it okay hold on uh, okay so you, you can choose if it's what or what sort of uh, account is it savings every day overdraft not really necessary um, to say but if you want you can add this so let's say it's an everyday asking all the banking details so, so choose just keep it like that and save it I mean the reason why they were asking all the other details is to get the bank feed so it will be more um, easier because we already added the bank feed to the first bank that we had so should be okay now okay it says bank account type is required um, let's say let's just say clearing so we don't get that prompt Save. okay so we've got the a and z v2 new bank that's added so likewise you can add any bank account savings or things like that i'll show you how to add a liability again here Okay, so we've got all the liabilities listed here. So we'll add a shareholders loan account. So create category, and you'd say mm, that's liabilities. So we'd say it's other current liability or long term liability. So we'll go on a long term liability and we'll put the header as non current liabilities and we'll name it as so automatically the code has populated so shareholders loan account and then the tax code non reportable and these are these things comes on the finance and these are like if you want to generate cash flow reports so you will choose financing operating or investing and uh, so that's um, I don't think for bookkeeping purpose if you want to read reports profit and loss on the balance sheet this is very necessary but if the business is scaling up and you need more detailed reports then um, I can do another video on this how to generate cash flows for now we'll try to keep it very simple so everybody understands and you're happily recording transactions equity um, nothing to worry just keep them as is so these are all defaults do not touch do not delete thing don't do anything for that so you can add an income as well um, you say it's an income parent heading income okay so um, so let's say retail and you have a store in in Sydney but your business is in Melbourne so you are you're saying retail Sydney so all the Sydney sales you will record it here so for, for example and then all those sales are GST so you say it's GST save it okay so that's that thing is there likewise cost of sales expenses other income 
and other expenses you can um, add everything so how do you see the profit and loss you can go on to reports I'm not sure the profit and loss will show all the accounts because there won't be any income or expenses so we'll just yeah as, as I said yeah so there is no income or expenses no so, uh, so I won't show anyone but balance sheet I think it should populate some because there's zero transactions so that's why I'm worried if we if it will show or not yeah so nothing so it's because we haven't recorded anything so that's all about setting the chart of accounts um, it depends uh, if you really want to add any specific accounts you can go ahead and add the income expenses or if you need my help just comment on the, the, the comment section say what sort of industry it is and I will give you all the common income and expense categories that we use in our practice and that's gonna massively help you and that's all you have to do and you're set and you're good with myob and one the once the bank and the other thing gets verified you can generate um, invoices from sales and invoices and you can start generating invoices and then you can send it to your customers and uh, here somewhere here once the bank feed is connected every week you will get all the transactions for the past week so let's say you have 100 transactions income and expenses and from there you will allocate all the transactions saying what is what okay so that's sim it is that simple and uh, you you will allocate all the income let's say like for example a lot of people confuse here is when you do send an invoice for thousand dollars and you get paid so when you re when you send an invoice um, because we set up the, the whole system as accrual it will it will record as sales it will credit on the sales and it will debit as accounts receivable like money yet to be received from the customer and from the bank when you receive the thousand dollars you when you click here when you start to allocate the account um, it will match to that invoice it will ask if we, if this invoice is this the payment that we received so you will say yes so that accounts receivable will be cleared and the bank will increase as a, as money received in and you can allocate all the bank transactions it's very simple so you don't need to worry about anything else uh, allocate all the transactions every quarter just sit back do the accounts recon sorry bank reconciliation or maybe you can do it monthly and you can find out where you have made mistakes um, if you really want me to make another video of how to do the bank reconciliation I can do step by step detailed uh, explanation about how to do bank reconciliation and that's it that'll be a pretty lengthy one but that is so easy and you can lodge your GST and if you do have uh, employees you can go here and the employees go go on pay runs start pay runs you can make payments and then later you can get the single touch payroll reporting registered and it's that easy so um, I think I covered most of the things what you need to know and uh, I think you have, if you have listened the entire video that, that I made previously and you have done everything what I showed you um, I think there's nothing else you need to know and I've literally saved you about thousands and thousands in accounting bills for for your accountant so the tax accountant is not gonna come and bill you so at the end of the year you need to just give them the profit and loss or balance sheet or go on here um, users and permission and you can give them access to the accounting software so they can look around what's ha what has happened so um, that's about this video and if you really believe that this video was helpful um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel so this will make me excited to come forward and make more videos and help more people and if you really if you're struggling if you're still struggling um, just comment or just reach out to me to my email address um, I can do one-on-one -on -one and I can explain you while you're on the call I can show all the accounts and how you need to do and full of I'm not gonna charge any money for free because this is my passion I really like what I'm doing I just love the journey um, not about the results so yeah uh, good luck with your accounting um, allocations and getting all your compliance part sorted and yeah thank you very much